Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Cubase Pro 10. Today I'm going to show you how to separate a MIDI clip that has different drum pitches in it. So sometimes we want to separate everything out like it's done when you record an acoustic drum set so that each drum can be affected a certain way. We can adjust the EQ, put different types of effects and things like that on it. So there are mixers in the interfaces like Easy Drummer 2 has its own mixer here and um, the one that's in Cubase built-in the Groove Agent it has its own mixer and those are good you can do certain things with those but sometimes we want to have just more control and how you do that is select your clip and press P here so that it can start see what this sounds like when it plays and what you want to do is right click on the clip and go to dissolve part and that's also under MIDI over here and dissolve part and it's going to separate the pitches and optimize display -o, just keep that one checked click OK and it's going to take a little while for it to separate everything Cubase is working on that and that's going to make a, a lot of different tracks for the different pitches so I'll just mute this one and it should sound the same okay and on each one of these the Easy Drummer interface is there and go to drums and you see that it's only one drum so this one happens to be the snare so what I'd like to do is put all this in a folder before I start uh, renaming all these so I'm just gonna right click here and add a folder track and just one and then click on the first one shift click all this and then drag it on top till it turns green and then everything's in that folder so that it can collapse it all so the one that was muted you can delete that one if you want afterwards or keep it or just delete it so it doesn't get mixed up and then <clears throat> go in here and I'm going to find out which one is the kick So that's the kick then press shift, hold down the shift key and press enter and it will rename the track and the clip and all the other events that are on the track too. Uh, let's find the one for snare. Okay. So you get all these named um, according to what they are and then you can start um, putting VSTs and EQing them just the way you want. Click on this one here. So I can. So you can EQ it any way you want. Put any kind of effect on there. Like the snare. Let's take a look at that. Maybe you want a reverb on there. So you can add anything on there that you want. And fine tune it and make it the sound that you want it to be. So this concludes this tutorial of how to separate all your MIDI tracks. And um, so if you get a big honking MIDI file in there, and you want to get it all separated, this is the way you'll do it. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial, and I'll see you next time, okay? Take care now. God bless. Bye-bye.